Do you have any idea what you've done? Well, yeah, I have a list. Hi, welcome to Can I Spader Christmas. In the wee hours of Thursday morning at precisely 3 a.m., I was awakened to a beeping sound and had a dog sitting on my chest vibrating with a death stare begging me to turn it off. My UPS uh, in the data center was beeping because a thunderstorm had come through and we had no power. And it only lasted about an hour. Um, by the time I got the last machine shut down, power came back up. So then I spent another hour bringing all the other machines back up. Interesting thing about that. Apparently I have acquired some new gear since I originally set all this up. And what I thought was backed up or running on the UPS, not actually running on the UPS. Apparently I have purchased a uh, wireless router and, and I've had it for a long time. Uh, but it just wasn't on the battery backup output. And so all of the headless servers I couldn't get to because I only have a wireless connection on the machine that I actually have a monitor on. So got that straightened out pretty quickly but I might want to shut power off to the house occasionally just to make sure that the things that I think are protected are actually protected yes it's storm season here in Central Texas and so I have built-in motivation to get the power wall completed this past weekend was Easter weekend. Hope you had a very happy Easter. Uh, we were planning to take the pups over to a friend's house for a puppy Easter egg hunt, uh, but we could not attend the event. So we're planning to do our own this weekend. Don't tell them we're late. I don't think I showed you the connection to the packs that I had built. Uh, Average Joe actually mentioned this in one of his comments, but the challenge here is that this can flex pretty easily here. Uh, his solution is to put the fuses around here on the negative side and just use the larger wire on this side. Um, I'm trying to leave just a little extra fuse lead here so if it does flex, it won't just rip the fuse off the cell. And I put wire ties around the bus bars just to give them a little more strength. I may adopt Average Joe's idea before it's all said and done, especially if I keep ripping the welds when I crimp the wires onto the bus bars. Stay tuned. I tested pack three, uh, and for that I'm doing a regenerative discharge into the lead acid batteries, uh, some little lawnmower uh, lead acid batteries. Um, the wires that I have for that are kind of small, so I am limiting that to 10 amps um, instead of going all the way up to 30 amps that the eye charger can handle. Um, I, actually, I bump them up one amp every time just to see if the wires start getting warm. I think I'm up to 13 amps now and it's still fine. Probably won't go over 15 though. Uh, here's the video.
I assembled and tested pack four. Uh, nothing really dramatic there. I also was able to cut some more Schedule 80. Some of you guys are professional miter saw users. The first comment was to connect a shop vac to the miter saw to cut down on some of the dust. I had already thought of that one, but it was a good suggestion. I got one comment saying that the stop uh, was the reason that the blade was kicking the cut pieces out. Um, I asked, well, well, how do you get accurate cuts? Um, if you don't have the stop and his reply was I've got a laser clearly I have some shopping to do okay but the one I really thought was genius was this Bob, you demand. Now, the shop vac not only cut down on the dust as I was cutting it, but it also made it much easier to pick up the pieces after I was done. Now, I didn't pick them all up that way but it did help with the overall cleanup. Plus, it was just kind of fun. I assembled more holders. I uh, still have a few more to go on that. And I have three more packs to finish. And it starts getting pretty exciting. Oh, I may do a video about some stuff that I learned at work recently. Um, it was something that I had trouble with. I overcame it and doing a video to help somebody else because it took me a long time to figure this out and there was just no information on it on the web. I know it's kind of cryptic and so if you see a programming video come out just you know watch it obviously but you know that's why. So kind of all over the place this week um, but I did make some good progress and I really want to be ready when the next thunderstorm rolls through. As a matter of fact, the lights flickered today. We had a storm to roll through and the lights flickered and nothing shut off. But I mean, I am motivated to get this thing finished. All right. That's the update for this week. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below other than that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Now, I shot an email. Uh, so I got six of these, and so they... I got five of these when I started relaxing a little bit, and then BAM!